All right. What's up, guys? It's Roger D. Walk again. And here, what we're looking to do is uh, I made a new team. I'm going to try out this rain trapping team that is incredibly degenerate and pretty good for, you know, pretty obvious reasons. The whole point of the team is to bring in Kingdra and then another powerful special attacker like Volcarona and just trap anything that could oppose them. Scizor, Wobbuffet, and Dugtrio make it so you can always um, guaranteed remove Tentacruels, Chanseys, Blissies, and that's very good. Wobbuffet also lets you remove opposing Kingdras, which then lets you counter sweep brain teams. Just good overall. So uh, <laughs> the naming convention started with Mon Mothma, and then, you know, Admiral Akbar kind of makes sense for Dugtrio, it's a trap, and uh, things got out of hand from there. <laughs> so we've created the Rainbow Alliance. If you want to transport rebels, you use the home one, which is Pelipper. Then, of course, the hero of the rebellion being Luke Rainwalker. Finally, Han shoots first, just like Scizor, so that one fell into place. And look at Admiral Holdo over there. Look at how punchable she is. Names, name matches made in heaven. I'm not positive on all the sets, and I want to go over some of the, some of the basics of the game play that you're going to be seeing. So for Pelipper, Pelipper is basically max spadef. This is so that I'll know if a Scizor is running speed. If I'm faster than Scizor, it doesn't have speed, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Good to know. Uh, it lets me roost before, like, a Scizor can hit me with a banded U-turn or something, or, like, a banded pursuit is more likely and more important. Uh, you know, just nice to know. Now, I could run physically bulky because Pelipper does have very good base physical defense, but this lets me live actually a decent amount of special hits. So we'll see. I go back and forth on it. The one thing, I did just buy this Pelipper, just straight off the market, because it's 200000 for functionally a usable Pelipper. It does have lower special attack than I want, and that makes me sad. But, you know, like, it's kind of worked so far. Uh, this is, again, just like, this is going to be drafting. I'm not positive about the sixth slot. The first five, I'm set on. It's always going to be your rain setter, the best rain sweeper, and then the three best trappers. And so Volcarona is a great option for this slot, but Rotom Wash and Rotom Mo are very good, as well as Reuniclus. I think those are the best positions for that. You could also uh, put Screech on Dugtrio, which allows him to trap Blissey, uh, remove Wobbuffet, and put in a couple options. One of the better ones being Ferrothorns. So your team has a more defensive backbone. You could put in Ferrothorn here, and like Rotom Wash right there. So you have a lot more defensive pivots. You have more hazard setting and removal. You just options to have but i really do think that like the trappers right here are just so good at crushing offense okay moving back to the team Pe or kingdra is modest you can make your kingdra as slow as you want basically at zero speed it still outspeeds basically everything at, with a scarf this right here just always lets me outspeed kabutops because the rain mirror is one of the most threatening to this team honestly like it's not necessary you can go a lot slower and put more bulk in this is because the main priority moves that I have to deal with are going to be mock punches and extreme speeds. I want to take those a little better. We're specs, of course, modest. That's Kingdra. Um, as far as the moves, I like them for now. You could sneak a hidden power, like electric or fire in there. I just generally don't like it. Draco Meteor is mostly for when you have to one-hit KO something that's in front of you and is expecting to live anything besides max special attack modest Draco. Cool. For Scizor, we have our usual max HP, Adamant Scizor. Uh, I could put a little speed on it, but I kind of like it being slow, actually, to get those slow U-turns off. Pursuit is necessary, and then U-turn, Bullet Punch, Superpower, all important. This will just nail a specially defensive Ferrothorn. And if Ferrothorn lives this, it has basically no spidef, at which point it can't check Kingdra. Cool. Wobbuffet is max spidef. The reason why my Wobbuffet is max spidef is uh, for Volcarona. So Volcarona, if it gets plus two, can just wreck this team. So you have to find a way to stop that. Some good ways are if you already have rocks up, then Dugtrio with Sash and Tactic will deal at least 50% to Volcarona. So that's not bad. But basically what you want to do is if they have Volcarona up and they've managed to get plus one, you just Encore them with Wobbuffet. That means that like they cannot set up on you and ba da ba. Sometimes you're sacking Wobbuffet, but if they do go for the risky move and set up on you, Encore, then lets you switch to Doug and gives you two turns to Earthquake, which will always uh, when it or which will always kill Volcarona, even if you're Jolly, which I am. And then Counter Coats, obvious. Tickle is here, because Tickle is the tech that lets you always trap Chansey and Blissey. Chansey and Blissey is in, tickle him three times, especially if it's a Chansey you want at least three, and then just go to Banded Pursuit Scizor, and they're dead. If they're max defense, they'll live, but they'll live on like 
ten percent HP, at which point no longer a check. It's it's disgusting. And like I don't know. But not borderline broken, well past broken. This team, these two Pokemon should not be legal, but they are, so here we are using them. For Dugtrio, I went max speed jolly. Uh for a couple of reasons. One, it always lets me get up rocks on Tyranitar, because I never have to worry about being outsped by a surprise scarf set. So let's go ahead, put up some rocks, and then kill them with reversal. It just single-handedly wins the weather war, at which point you still have a 1 HP reversal Doug, which can come in and then trap Excadrill. It's not a fair mon either. Memento is for some setup advantage. Uh, I don't use it much. Probably could be Screech. Reversal's nice. This is the team's only rocker, which is not great. Uh, so the team weaknesses, I'll cover that right now real quick, because I covered the main core, are weak to hazards, because your hazard removal remover Pelipper uh, is also weak to hazards. So once Pelipper is below 25%, rocks are here to stay. And rocks will cripple Volcarona, and they'll remove your sash. And that's about it. Like, Wob is fine, Kingdra's fine, and Scizor's fine, but they don't like it, you know? So having this be Rotom gives me better hazard removal, which is good. Also, rocks are important to a lot of sweeps. that You deal with uh, a bunch of the Sash mons that are running around. More and more people are running Sash because hazards have been a bit less prevalent on offense, as I've seen recently. So having a team that can really force hazards down someone's throat and then threaten a special sweep is pretty important. Uh, I don't know what a great fix that is, but I'm sure there's some. Uh, this team is still in the works. Finally, I have my Timid Volcarona. Just my my absolute baby. Oh, goodness, these EVs are atrocious. Uh, well, I'm going to change that so that it actually gets a point of HP or a point of defense. Uh, oops. Everyone pretend you didn't see that. So the moves run here is you get access to Hurricane in the rain, which is insane. It becomes 100% accurate, and Hurricane just takes the place of Hidden Power Rock because it's better in every way. Any Pokemon that Hidden Power Rock is super effective against, Hurricane is just double the power Hidden Power Rock, so works there. Anything where you're hitting neutral, just even better. This lets you KO Conk at plus one if it's... T it's like a roll, and depending on how much special defense they have, how much HP investment, yada yada, but good chance to KO Conk at plus one, and if it's taken any damage, you're killing Conk, which normally Conk in the rain expects to live because resists this, and with the rain, basically resist this. Fiery Dance should probably be Fire Blast here, because you really just want this Volcarona to blast open holes, and you really only have to use this against, like, Ferrothorn, Skarmory stuff. Hurricane and Bug Buzz will shred through most things. So yeah, that's the team. It has Lefties. Um, that's pretty important. Sash, Lefties, Damp Rock, because we want to set up the rain, have it stay. Two choice Pokemon. Yep, that's about the team. Well, I'll get into the games, uh, and we'll just see how it goes. We're testing it out to find out the weaknesses, strengths, I'll do like a really in-depth team analysis of this if it works well, which, uh, I mean, this is recorded afterwards, so it's been working pretty well. So we might be headed towards that. I've got another video coming up um, that we're working on about uh, off offensive momentum and how to uh, how to leverage that in games. I think that'll be good and informative, but we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes later. All right, now let's hop into those games. <clears throat> All right, so... This was the very first battle that I did with the rain team. Um, as we'll notice very soon, there is one gigantic hole in this team. I don't actually have rain. My Pelipper has keen eye. Ah, uh, so things look like they're gonna go downhill fast. He's running a hippo with no, like I guess he's running sand veil hacks. Uh, you know, not great, but it's a team. The thing I do notice though is that Volcarona goes in on this guy. Doug Trio can get the chip necessary to get Garchomp low to the point where Volcarona can sweep, and then Volcarona basically runs through the rest of his team, even at just plus one. So that's the end game I decided to look for, and I'm looking to just get Volcarona in on rocks real quick. I think you know why not throw off some surfs, see what this or some scalds, see what this guy does. Uh, at this point, realizing that Drizzle wasn't there, I like hard tilted and was basically like, oh well, I guess I lose. Here I go for U-Turn, because if he is Protect, getting Pelipper slept is fine. That means he can't sleep anything else, and he wouldn't run Whirlwind and that. So if he keeps me in here, then I just make a hard switch into Volcarona and set up on his face. So we end up switching out right here as he goes for Rocks, I believe. Oh no, he goes for Yawn. And here, I figure that he probably has Protect, just because... I don't know. Why did I figure that? Does he have leftovers? 
Wait, no, he doesn't have left. I don't know why I figured it was protect. Uh, it just it felt like it. If you're gonna lead Yon, uh, like leftovers make a lot more sense on that set. But here I'm thinking like mm, mm, something I should be worried about. Don't want Volk to go to sleep. It's my win condition, so I switch to Scizor as it, it is indeed protect. Now I have a super free U turn, and I'm still looking for that situation where I can set Volkrona up. I U turn. Now I know if he stays in, then most likely he went for Stealth Rock, knowing that I don't kill him, or I only kill him with like Bandit Superpower. But I'm not gonna do that. I need to just have all the momentum in this game. <laughs> I need to force Volcarona in as soon as possible, set up, win the game. So, here we make that move. We see he's staying in, probably going for rocks, as he does in fact do that. Ta-da! Here comes Mon Mothma. Now, I'm not really threatened by him going anything else. It would be kind of insane for him to yawn again there, so we just hope he didn't do it. And if he did, there's nothing stopping me from going back to Scizor and repeating the process, at which point he just dies from it. So here I go for Fiery Dance, because I don't want Volk getting yawned. I think I can actually probably sweep from here. I go for this because I expect Conk to come in, and that we can uh, blast it a bit, hopefully get a special attack raise, which we do. Because against this team, Volk only needs the speed boost for a uh, Garchomp, or potentially for a Scarf... Well, I'm forgetting the name, Pogekiss. As we'll see later, his Garchomp is, like, adamant, I think? Because he's just based slower than my Volk. Um, the thing about Garchomp is that Jolly versions, you are fast, or you survive with their Earthquake pretty easily. So I'm just thinking, like, as I say here, I'm just like, please don't be Life Orb, and that's about all we're going to do. We're in Cover Dance. If he substitutes, that means he has no idea what's going on. We kill him with Bug Buzz. I'm at plus two special attack, so I do kill him at this point. And he goes for a Sword Dance, which was just the worst thing you could have done in that situation. <laughs> so here I'm like, oh. Um, I guess we win on the rain team without rain. 6-0. Uh, we just hit him off the bug buzz. At this point, Volk is incredibly strong. The only Pokemon that lives is Togekiss. I was very afraid of this being Sash, but at this point I was thinking, like, I don't really want to play out a prolonged game. We're just gonna... We're just gonna hit him and hope it's not Sash. I was thinking it probably wasn't, because running Sand and Sash is just really weird. I don't think you would or should do that. So I had a good hope that he wouldn't be, and it was correct. That's just something to look out for. Cloister is usually sashed. If they're in Cloister on sand, they're probably not that dumb. So here I should have quiver danced again, honestly. Uh, I was just afraid of, like, if I quiver dance again and then he hits me with, like, T-Wave on at least do some damage. I don't know. It wasn't a super valid line of thought. Like I figured, probably Scarf, especially on a team when we saw that Garchomp is slow. This team needs some sort of speedy offense. Uh, it doesn't matter, <laughs> of course. Volk just cleans through his team. But it that was a turn where it could have been slightly better play. If he nasty plots or anything there, I would have... I, I don't lose, no matter what. So are, maybe this is better. But either way, I still had to just risk a crit. So it doesn't really help me or hurt me either way. Yeah, that's fair. I guess it's not really a misplay at this point. It was game over. He goes to his Volk. I think I hit him with the Hidden Power Rock just to let him know that we have it. Hidden Power Rock is really cool, especially if you're not running it on a rain team, <laughs> which at this point in time I technically was not. It lets you hit the fires and flying dragons that Volcarona is weak against. And it doesn't one-hit KO them unless you have plus two, but if anyone lets you get plus two, Volk just wins no matter what. Uh, but with Rocks up, you'll notice that both of this Pokemon being Dragonite, Salamance, and then basically just any fire type. Uh, they're all weak to Stealth Rock. And so Stealth Rock allows plus one Volcarona to just whack them all with Hidden Power Rock. And that's more than enough. It's fantastic. And probably one of the better moves in that slot. I understand Giga Drain, but generally on bulky waters, I'm just trying to Quiver Dance up and then break through with Bug Buzz because Stab Bug Buzz does almost as much. And like you could run Life Orb, Giga Drain is another good set. It's decent, but, uh, you know, we went with this here, and it worked out for us. <laughs> I do change it to Hurricane, as you saw later on. But, yeah, that uh, <laughs> first team, first battle at all with the Rain team, off to a good start. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I got stuck into a rematch with this guy, and that was an oh, no for his sake, because this isn't going to work out super well. All right, Rain versus Sand. Ish. Part two.
Yep, I still don't see a reason not to lead Scizor, because what if he tries to switch it up on me? I almost led Doug there, but meh. What's with all of us Pokemon and having fire moves? <sighs> Fine. <laughs> Both of these games, I immediately sacked um, <laughs> Scizor to a surprise fire move. Last game, he led Rotom or er, Rotom Mo. I led Scizor, and he went surprise HP fire. <laughs> now it's Tyranitar. Okay, goodness. Well, we're gonna rock on him. You know, maybe I should earthquake. No, no reason to earthquake. Yeah, he's not gonna. So he should have fire punched me there. Then maybe I live with enough HP, or could have gotten a burn. That I can't do this to him. Pop. <laughs> I just want to keep Scizor alive, guys. Like I don't think I'm asking too much there. Because it is kind of nice to have Scizor pass turn one against this guy's team. Its bullet punch was quite good. I don't think Tyranitar died there if it has any sort of bolt, so. Ooh. I want to keep Doug Trio around, you know? But. The other option is that it's way too obvious for me to switch to Pelipper. I pulled that on him last time. So, we're not going to do that. Hmm. Right? Because I can't really afford to lose Pelipper right now. Can I? Hold up. I say that, but can I? I want to keep Doug True around because it's great against his Rotom. It's great against Excadrill. Gives me kills on Rotom and Drill. I could sack Volcarona, although that does get start lowering my numbers quite a bit. If I sack Volk and I go to Pelipper, I could U-turn, although potentially I U-turn on Drain Punch. Mock punching, here, me, mock punching me here makes a bit of sense, especially with how I've shown my play, but... Hmm, actually, does he even have Thunder Punch? There's no way you don't have Thunder Punch or uh, Stone Edge, so let's not play risky like that. Him killing Doug sucks. Him killing that hurts a bit. I'm going to go Volcarona. You know, he's not burned yet, so he probably actually doesn't kill. Okay, no, he does have Thunder Punch, yeah. There's a lot of options there, but there's no use to put Pelipper in range of something dangerous. We're just going to try to toss this thing. I don't think this kills. Maybe after sand and burn. Like, it might die this turn. Oh, okay, cool. Um, never mind. <laughs> I'm very new to Hurricane. This is like the third match I've played with it, so I don't quite know the rules yet. Although I have seen, I have had a Conqueror survive it. Okay. Uh, Yeah, this thing is no longer useful, so... Yeah. I just had to play for the miss or something. I don't know why you do that. Because I'm not going to try to go Pelipper on that. Wait, the sand is up. Oh, I can't read. <laughs> for some reason, I was like, oh, I'll go Pelipper and then revenge him with my Doug Trio. But, oh well. Like, if he flinches me, he flinches me. And that doesn't kill. So, yeah, we just Scald. We say, please just don't get flinched or crit. Yo, whew. Whew. Okay. I'm really thinking about running Fizz Death. Especially defensive does let me live some electric type attacks, actually. That crit doesn't matter. Um, I should always say about a lot of my crits, but honestly, usually they don't. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay. Yeah, he's got this thing. But I have Wobbuffet. And nothing on his team really wants to be in against Wobbuffet. So I'm 90% I'm sure this is Scarf as well. Yeah, he predicts Wobbuffet, but also like a max for death. So that, that doesn't matter. 
and we are going to mirror coat. Yep, because I'm 90% sure he's Scarf. Give him a little boop here. Ooh, so now we're at a point where does, because his last two are Gastrodon and Gyarados. What can I do against Gyarados if it comes in? If it comes in on rocks, yeah, I'm just going to give it a, I just can't let it set up on me. Give it a nice little encore. Aw, oh, come on, dude. This is the second game I've got him with Encore on a setup move. But okay. Or not him, no, it was the two games ago when I Encored someone into a setup move. So now I've got three turns to mess around with him. I'm just going to start shooting out Draco Meteors. Because I have enough extra turns that I can honestly mess around and miss. It'll be fine. This thing has the special defense that maybe I should just Dragon Pulse. No, we're going to Meteor. We're going to do it. Oh. <laughs> I, I say as I click Dragon Pulse. So, I guess we're actually Dragon Pulsing. He should have one more of those in him. Yeah. Like, I'm, I, he should have one more taunt turn, right? Yeah, okay. So I guess Pulse was better. But... <laughs> I couldn't quite remember if he had one more of those. Oh, I got scared that I just threw, threw out my butt. That was an odd play. But okay. <laughs> this thing is max spadef, as learned from just the last game. He could toxic me here. So what I'm going to do is switch to Wob. Wob covers every play. If he goes back into Gera, I once again, yeah. Cool. He uses that. The rain is gone, so he doesn't do that much damage to me. There's not much point trying to encore him into Toxic here. So I'm just going to tickle twice. Well, maybe three times. But regardless, after two tickles, because he's max spadef, he dies to one HP reversal. So every time, <laughs> darn it, every time I'm looking at Doug True and I'm like, wow, I really want Stone Edge instead of reversal. Ver reversal lets me do stuff like this. Like, it allows Doug Trio to check something it shouldn't be able to check. Like, normally Gastro just doesn't take any damage. Um... Ah, he's doing that to try to uh, cover the mirror coat. But at this point, I'm just going to tickle him until I die, then click reversal twice and win the game. Sounds like a good plan. Trappers are broken. Rain is broken. This has been your daily reminder. I don't know why you're not going to scald there. It doesn't matter. I... I <laughs> I'm not going to pretend like he's actually playing at this point. Like, this, his team is pretty good. Like, it covers a lot of stuff. It's cool. Freaking Fire Punch Lefty's Tar? I, I don't know what it is. It's not Helmet or Choice. It could be the Sand thing. I've never let that survive long enough. Cool. If I click something that wasn't dug there as I was looking away, I'd have cried. Cool. And now we'll just finish this off. Boop. And then we'll deal with that Gyarados, which comes in at 3%. And although I'm intimidated and he resists, Gyarados is not that bulky. I don't know if there's any Pokemon that takes 3% from max damage reversal. Hmm. Should I Earthquake here? Just to BM? Uh, just to show him I have it. Yeah, a little memento here. Because why take the guaranteed win when you could have a chance to lose? Uh, 
All right. Now he's going to crit me, and I'm going to lose because I deserve it. We're going to go Draco, too. We're going to give him a chance. We're going to give myself a chance to miss. Okay. That, that, that was rude. Don't BM your opponents, guys. This has been another daily PSA. Uh, but also, sometimes it's fun. I'm going to blame Rain for making me like this. Normally, I'm a good person. But I think I'm out of focus ashes at this point. So 